One day, a company opening a new EV charging hub at an international airport won't be particularly newsworthy. That day is not today. This is GridServe's third electric forecourt at London Gatwick Airport. Thank you to everyone who believed in GridServe. Uh, thank you for everybody who supported uh, this journey. Um, uh, thank you to our investors who backed us. Uh, thank you to our, you know, our partners, our customers who, you know, who turned up and made the projects uh, viable. Who kind of demonstrated that the vision that we had to make electric vehicle charging better than using petrol uh, stations. Um, you know, was one that was really viable and possible and sustainable for the future. Uh, yes, that's right. Grid very kindly invited me along to the opening day of their brand new electric forecourt at Gatwick Airport. As you would expect, it is everything an electric forecourt tends to be. Uh, there are 22 350 kilowatt rapid chargers on site, four Tesla superchargers and four 22 kilowatt AC chargers. Absolutely loads of charging for every type of EV. And then you go upstairs into the lounge and just like the electric four courts at Braintree and Norwich, you have a lovely environment, very comfortable lounge to sit in while your car charges. And then in the G lounge, you can relax, you can recharge, you can do your emails, you can meet, you can collaborate, um, or you can just sit and watch some of the planes come in. If you need um, more private space, then we've got a meeting room, um, same as we have at Norwich and Braintree. You can have a coffee from Costa Coffee on site. Uh, whether you're thinking about your next EV or you don't currently have an EV and you're just there for a coffee, you can browse the leasing deals that GridServe have available. It seems they've actually sort of doubled down on that versus some of their other sites. So you've got these big screens on the walls, like big massive touch screens where you can scroll through all the current leasing offers. Uh, and then they obviously, just like the other electric forecourts, they have representatives there that can talk you through the deals. They can answer questions you might have about EVs. Uh, and they fully accept that not everybody that's there is going to be a bona fide EV expert. You might be completely brand new to EVs. It might be your first experience there. And they try their hardest to make that as easy as possible. And I experienced that firsthand. So one of the AC chargers I tried to plug the Zoe into was playing up a little bit. And we had a little bit of back and forth, resetting the charger, trying to get it working. And the guys there were very, very helpful. Uh, and, and it was exactly the kind of support that you want on hand because, because it's not always plain sailing. As we know, sometimes chargers are a little bit iffy and they need a little bit of encouragement to get going. And having that help on hand from the GridServe gurus is really, really helpful. And I think I mean, anybody that visits Electric Forecourt therefore receives a level of service that you just don't get at other charging hubs. And I think that's what makes them quite so special. So, when you so again, those are some of the key elements of the Forecourt that are the same as what we have. Now, many of you, when you arrived this morning, you'll have been greeted by our awesome GridServe gurus. Uh, and the GridServe gurus are unique. They're there to help you charge. They're there to greet you. They're there to inform and educate you about what else is in the building. They're there to talk to you about the latest EV models. And they're there to then welcome you into the G Lounge. As I say, it's all a fairly familiar experience now. If you've visited any of the Grid Server Electric Four Courts, you, you pretty much know exactly what to expect when you go to a new one, and Gatwick isn't really any different. 
However, it wouldn't be GridServe if they didn't drop in some innovation along the way and throw in something completely different that we haven't seen before. The on-site shop is at Little Fresh by Simply Fresh and it uses Amazon's Just Walk Out technology. Now you might have heard of this and if you haven't, basically what it is is there are no tills in the store. There's no one there to, to serve you. There was someone in the store stacking shelves and making sure everything was in order but they're not there to check you out at all. So that also does mean there's no queuing. So we said like, what's wrong with shopping in a store? And the answer we came up with was checkout lines. Uh, people don't like checkout lines. Uh, it turns out they didn't like checkout lines in 1924. They don't like checkout lines in 2024. They're not gonna like checkout lines in 2124, right? They don't like checkout lines in the US. They don't like them in the UK and they don't like them in Australia. And so the problem of lines in a store is really this problem that transcends time, it transcends space. And so if you focus on solving a big problem like that, you're going to deliver long-term value to customers. Well, so you walk into the store having scanned your payment method, whether that be a contactless credit or debit card, or you can use like Apple Pay or Android Pay on your phone, and it lets you in. And while you're in there, it's tracking anything that you take off the shelf or put back or whatever. And then by the time you leave, it knows exactly what you've taken and you, as the name suggests, just walk out. Now, it's quite remarkable if you haven't seen it before, and it does work really, really well. I actually filmed myself doing this. I put a GoPro on my head and filmed myself doing this. And the footage is a little bit dodgy because there was lots and lots of LED lights in there, and, and I, I think I've got the wrong setting on the camera. So there's a lot of flicker. Uh, and if you want to skip forward past this kind of flickery footage, I'll put the time code where you need to skip to, and I'll also put a chapter in so you can click forward if you want as well. But if you want to see this tech in action, here's the video of me doing just that. I thought this was absolutely fantastic. This is not my first experience with this sort of just walk out or similar technology. I've used it at a different retailer that doesn't use Amazon's technology. They're actually developing their own. Um, and it was just as impressive. I, I almost think I preferred this though because it was, because you scan your payment method as you go in and there's no further friction and no further interaction. It, it's just really, really easy. The one thing I did do, as you saw at the end of the video, there, there was a little terminal where you enter your email address if you wanted to send your receipt. So I did that as I left. Obviously, you don't need to do that, and it's a one-time thing. But that means it sends you a receipt of what you picked up. And as you can see, here's the receipt that came through to my email. The two things that I actually left the store with were what I was charged for. I think my only criticism, really, of the on-site uh, store is it's nothing to do with the technology it all worked very very well and it was really cool like you can imagine when it's busy right you don't need to queue you can literally just grab what you need and leave and it's so so simple uh, the prices though it was quite pricey i will say that i mean it was 
uh, f- five pound eighty nine for a sandwich and a drink, and they didn't seem to have any kind of meal deal type offering, anything like that. There was no promotional offers. Everything was just sort of the price it was. Uh, that is quite pricey. I-, I guess we're in the realms of maybe airport prices because we are on site at the-, the the terminal at Gatwick Airport, and therefore, I'm guessing the prices are in line with that. Uh, so not amazing value for money. The the cost of coffee on site was fairly sort of standard pricing. But I did think some the, the, the pricing in the shop was a little bit out there. Uh, but the technology was really, really cool. And what was also really cool, and I've got the full video of this, but uh, there was a guy from Amazon did a presentation about the Just Walk Out technology. And this was what really, really caught my eye. Uh, we used a lot of generative AI techniques to synthetically create videos to train the algorithms that understand what's happening in the store. Uh, to, to sort of expand on that, um, in order to build artificial intelligence that can understand what you've taken off or put back on the shelves, uh, we have to have videos of people taking things off and putting things back on the shelves. Well, we didn't have any of those back in the early days. And so we used AI, AI to create videos of people taking things off and putting on shelves in different lighting conditions, in different sort of shelf configurations, et cetera. And we fed that back into another AI system to actually understand it in real life. So we sort of used AI to train AI, which sounds a little weird, but <laughs> it's nonetheless how this stuff works. Uh, and so we're at the point where in order to train an AI model, we're using generative AI to create images that we're then gonna feed into that model. So we've got AI training AI. And then that is just for me, that is it's exactly where the future's heading. And I think it is shows how this technology was absolutely the right thing for GridSurf to deploy at one of their locations. After all, if you are going to be the replacement for the petrol forecourt, and I have no doubt in my mind that that is exactly what the grid server electric forecourt is, it is the modern replacement for the petrol forecourt, then you're going to deploy technology in it that is absolutely the modern replacement for that thing. This Amazon Just Walk Out and other similar technologies, for me, absolutely is the replacement for this sort of convenience format type store. I don't see in the immediate future you'd be doing like a big shop where you're filling a trolley and it's, it's billing you in that way but when you're just grabbing a sandwich and a drink i absolutely think that that's the way forward the full set of the the keynote speeches from the opening day i, I did film all of it and i'm gonna upload a video with that in full so if anybody's interested in watching that there will be another video on the channel that shows that for you i did a little bit more filming when i was on site but unfortunately i was using a camera that I wasn't particularly familiar with and none of it really turned out very well which is why I'm doing the majority of it sat here in my studio so not ideal uh, and I always find that when you go to some of these events and stuff you've got a limited amount of time to, to get the filming done that you need to do it doesn't always work out that well and I think that's definitely one of the downsides of being a sort of one man band I don't have someone operating the camera for me and so it doesn't always work out but there you go that was a whistle stop introduction into the gatwick electric four core uh, it was amazing i cannot wait to see more and more of these propping up see grids have, have massive ambitions for the amount of these they want to roll out across the country and, they... and so just briefly on grids what are we doing um we are doubling down um i think pretty much every year we double our output and if we continue to double our output every year um, that we really have an opportunity to, uh, to meet the challenge um, with the exponential amount of energy that's required, uh, obviously net zero, clean energy, uh, to transform this. And if everybody else in this room you know, is to embrace that as an objective, every year we're going to double down. We're going to double our objectives and what we achieved last year. And you know what? We will not miss out the park. Um, and uh, and I, I, you know, I have real confidence. Um, based on what has been achieved and how many times people you know in the past have you know questioned whether this progress can be can be delivered but we've you know time and again knocked goals over uh, and, and able to, to demonstrate you know not only can can we deliver impact but we can deliver it now in a way that's better than petrol and diesel more cost effective uh, and creates you know prosperity and economic opportunities as well as the environmental uh, challenges that we must address so please as another takeaway uh, you know, if everyone can embrace the concept of doubling down, you know, double down, double up, you know, if you can achieve twice the impact next year that you achieve this year, and so on, then we really have a chance. And that's certainly what Grids are doing as well. 
and so, they are getting there. It might be taking a little bit longer than some of you might be expecting, but I think you need to appreciate the massive amount of effort that goes into this. And as always, Grid Server absolutely knocking it out of the park. I, I, I absolutely love what they're doing. I love the electric forecourt concept, and I cannot wait to see more of them. Let me know in the comments if you've managed to visit the Gatwick Electric Forecourt yet, or if you've got plans to go there. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.